guys uh, today we'll be dealing with another topic in chart and uh, this topic deals with uh, understanding the terms of a fixed position uh, dr or dead reckoning or estimated position and the concepts of uh, drift and leeway effects of uh, wind and current all right so let's start with the concept of fix what is the fixed position the fixed position is uh, obtained through the intersection of two or more position lines and it's denoted by a circle so the intersection of the two or more position lines uh, as obtained from through some kind of reliable position fixing system uh, other than a GPS or um, other than GPS, yes. Uh, so this is normally obtained through uh, two ranges and two bearings and ranges of uh, fixed objects uh, uh, such as lighthouses or islands. Uh, or it could be through two position lines obtained from celestial observations such as one longitude by chronometer and one intercept or one intercept and one median passage uh, so on and so forth all right so this is obtained through uh, reliable so this is a uh, accurate position of the ship uh, which is based on um, intersection of two or more position lines then we have the concept of dead reckoning or estimated position now if you talk about uh, dead reckoning dead reckoning is denoted by uh, a cross sign or a plus sign so as you can see here that from the fix if we can assume that uh, the vessel would have steered a course due east of 090 degrees uh, doing a speed of 10 nautical miles per hour at the end of the one hour the next hour say about 10 o'clock uh, the vessel would have reached the dr position marked uh, by the cross so dead reckoning uh, is the process of determining the position of the vessel by the vessel's course speed and time steamed uh, you can see that the dr position or the dead reckoning position is marked on the chart as a cross or a plus sign at the end of the course line as you see here so here this assumes that uh, the vessel will steer the course uh, it is intended to steer and there is no effect of wind or leeway on the ship's course but this is hardly the case this is a very rare uh, such cases happen because when the vessel is at sea it is uh, definitely it will have some effect of uh, tidal currents or uh, effect of wind or leeway on its course so let's see what is the effect of uh, wind and currents on a ship's course all right uh, so this is uh, a very rare occurrence that you see through the animations here all right so in the next couple of slides uh, we'll be asking or we'll be answering the following questions that uh, what happens to our position when there is a strong wind and how do we estimate where our ship will be and how do we find the course we expect to make good all right so let's start with estimate position so if you can see here uh, let's say this is a vessel's fixed position at about 12 o'clock uh, that is uh, marked through the circle mm, and let's say in this case the vessel is say on a course of three degrees so after one hour uh, the dead record at 1300 hours should be where you see the plus sign in the diagram right but let's say if there is a wind acting, and the wind is shown by half arrows, uh, normally three of them, and you can see a wind uh, is acting on the vessel's course, and the effect of the wind is called the leeway. So leeway is the effect the wind has on the vessel. Uh, it is normally expressed as an angle. The vessel's track differs from the course it is steering as a result of the wind. In this case, let's assume the wind or uh, the leeway angle is about 10 degrees which makes the vessel do a course of about 640 degrees and brings it to an estimated position shown by the fish triangle here at 1300 at this position here all right now this would be the position of the ship or estimated position of the ship if only the wind was acting now if there was an additional current acting on it as well, and the current uh, is shown as three arrows in the direction in which it is acting uh, I'll tell you what set is. Uh, now set is the direction towards which the current or the tidal stream is flowing. It is uh, normally expressed in degrees uh, of true uh, direction. So the direction is true. Now if there was current acting on it as well, the estimated position of the vessel would not be at EP1 but rather at EP2. And this is where the vessel would be if a uh, wind of uh, or leeway was 10 degrees and a current was setting as well. In that case, the vessel would not be steering the courses as marked by the orange lines but the marked by the purple line. And this is denoted by double arrows as you can see. So the double arrows here uh, rep 
represent the resultant movement of the vessel in the selected time of interval and it's also called the course made good so the expected course made good or cmg would be as shown by the double arrows here all right so that brings us uh, to the last portion here as to how do we find the effect of current uh, and uh, what are the different terms uh, associated with the uh, current that a vessel experiences now let's say again that the vessel's fixed position at 800 hours is known uh, through some kind of reliable position fixing method and the orange line is what the vessel will be steering say about 160 is what the vessel's course would have been so single arrows represent the course steered and distance the vessel travels in the selected time in and after 15 minutes it is estimated to reach a position marked by the plus or the cross sign which is the dead reckoning position after, after 15 minutes all right but that doesn't happen now after 15 minutes when you actually obtain another fix and that could be a radar range and bearing from lighthouse, you observe that the vessel's fixed position is as marked by the circle at 815 so instead of reaching at the dr position marked by the cross your vessel is at the fixed position marked by the circle now that will help us determine the set drift and rate of current and i'll show you how so basically you calculate after 15 minutes where the vessel would have been and then you find out where the vessel is actually after 15 minutes and that will become the course made good so to find the effect of the current you basically measure firstly the direction from the dr position to the fixed position that will give you the direction of the tidal stream that is the set that is called the set so set becomes a direction towards which the current or tidal stream is flowing drift is the total distance so in this case let's say the drift or the distance between dr0815 and fix0815 is about one nautical mile so one nautical mile is the distance the current or the tidal stream moves over a specified time so in that case the rate sorry the rate becomes the rate of the current which is the velocity of the current becomes four knots so if uh, drift is one knot in 15 minutes the rate will be about four knots in one hour all right so that is the difference so set is the direction drift is the total distance and rate is the velocity so if you have if the drift is only one nautical mile in 15 minutes that means the rate will be 4 nautical miles in 1 hour so these are the differences so basically this is another basic uh, uh, lesson on chart work before i go too deep into chart work i wanted you guys to uh, familiarize yourselves with the uh, terms such as dead reckoning and fix and understand how the leeway affects uh, or the uh, currents affect the course and how the resultant course is then called course made good uh, and how to understand calculating the direction of the current which is the set and what is the difference between drift and rate all right so i hope these uh, slides were useful to you and this video was useful to you uh, if it was then please let me know and i will make more videos on chart work but before i do that i wanted you guys to be very sure of what's going on here all right so thank you very much for watching and thank you for subscribing keep subscribing to get notification on my further videos and i'll see you soon with my next video